Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are tackling the clean girl aesthetic. The image of the effortlessly perfect girl whose skin is always glowing, whose hair is always shiny and healthy, whose lips are always perfectly glossed, who looks like she always smells really good. Not too much of anything, just enough to look effortlessly yet unattainably perfect. I don't know about you guys, but my skin is not always glowing. My hair has more bad days than good. And on most days, I do not feel like I have my shit together whatsoever. So trends like the clean girl, for me, just felt overwhelming and somewhat toxic. So in this video, I like to take back the control of this trend. The clean girl aesthetic does not have to be about unattainable perfection. In fact, I'm declaring right now that it's not. The clean girl aesthetic is about embracing simplicity and presenting the best version of ourselves, even on our messiest days. It's not about being clean as opposed to dirty, but rather feeling fresh and put together without this pressure of perfection. Most importantly, the clean girl aesthetic is achievable for everyone, even those of us who feel like an absolute mess at times. And in fact, the clean girl look can be extremely empowering, especially on those days when we're feeling extra low, because by being intentional with our makeup, our hair, uh, the way we style ourselves, we can significantly influence our mood and the way that we present ourselves in the world. It's like a little tool that we can use on even our worst days to just get out of that rut and embody that most polished, perfect version of ourselves. So let's dive into this video together and explore how we can realistically achieve the clean girl aesthetic, all while staying true to our beautifully imperfect self. Let's get started with the makeup. For me, the clean girl makeup is all about that effortless, simple, polished perfection without actually having to be perfect. What I start with is, of course, a clean face, moisturized skin. And as you can see, my skin is far from perfect. I'm gonna move a bit closer so you can see. I have a lot of redness, I have some bumps, I have like a little bit of texture in my forehead and in my T-zone. So I really want to emphasize that you don't have to have perfectly flawless, glowing skin in order to achieve the clean girl look. This look is for everyone. For the base, I'm going to start with one of my absolute favorite products. This is the Super Serum Skin Tint from Elia Beauty. If you watch any of my previous videos, you know that I am a big fan of this one. And I have the shade Formosa. If you hear any noise in the background, my daughter and my husband are having lunch in the other room. So it gets quite noisy. This one just really helps to like even out the skin tone. We don't want to worry too much about covering everything up and if you have acne or something that you really feel like insecure about that you want to cover up, I would still go in with a very light base product like a skin tint or a BB cream, tinted moisturizer and then we can go in with a concealer to cover up more redness. I just love the finish that this product gives. It gives glow without being shiny or just greasy. It's just like that perfect my skin but better. So now that we have the base, I'm going to go in with a concealer and I'm going to use one of my absolute favorite concealers, the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I have this in shade 02 Warm and this is just such a beautiful concealer. It's, I would say, medium coverage and I'm going to apply it on my hand. I just find that when you go straight in with a concealer on your face, you just get too much product. No matter how you do, you get too much product. And we want to be quite careful with how much product we use because this look is supposed to be very simple, easy, effortless. We want it to avoid looking cakey at all costs. So I just take a little bit. You see, that's very, very little. And then I'll just dab that in with my finger. And what I love about this concealer is that it does not crease. It's like an eye cream concealer hybrid. It just so hydrating for the under eyes. So if you have any issues with fine lines and just texture, this concealer is your friend. If you have acne or um, hyperpigmentation or something that you feel requires a little bit more coverage, just use a full coverage concealer, but use it sparingly to avoid the look of cakiness. And in my personal opinion, I would rather have redness or a zit or something shining through rather than fully covering it up and having it look cakey. And now we have a nice dewy 
healthy looking base. I'm going to set this using a luminous setting powder. I will be using one of my favorites, the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder. I have the shade Dim Light. And what I love about this one is that it never makes your skin look too matte. It just gives you that airbrushed look. It just has that natural skin-like sheen. And I like to use a quite small brush like this one. It just gives me more control so I don't overdo it. And then I like to do just a light touch of bronzer slash contour. I will be using this bronzer from Kaya Cosmetics. I have the shade Gold Coat. I kind of do like a bronze contour combination with this. And I like the shade of this bronzer because it's not too gray in the tone and it's not too orange. So you can really use it for both contour and bronzing. And I think it's important to use at least a little bit of contour or bronzer after you have applied a base product, even if it is light coverage, because you have removed some of your natural shadows in your face. So we just wanna add that back in with a bronzer. Then I will also just add a little bit of definition to my eyelids with the same bronzer. I'll just go in with this one that I used for the powder. Now we'll add some blush. I have one of my favorites here from Westman Atelier. This is the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in shade Duo Duo. I always prefer using a cream blush because I find that it just looks more fresh and dewy on the face. So I've just dabbed a little bit on my cheeks here and on my nose. Then we're going to add some glow. This is a crucial step in the clean girl makeup because the highlighter will help us achieve that fresh dewy face that we are striving for. And it's important to pick the right highlighter. I'm going to be using the lit up highlight stick from Westman Atelier. I have the shade Nectar. And what I love about this one is that it's so natural looking. It doesn't have any sparkle or shimmer. It just has this dewiness. So it makes you look so healthy and fresh. And you can literally use this even on days when you don't wear any makeup. And it's just gonna give your skin this healthy glow. For the clean girl makeup, I would avoid anything too intense when it comes to highlighter. You just want that natural, effortless glow. I'm gonna zoom in a little more and we're gonna move on to the eye area. On most days, I actually don't fill out my brows, especially not when I'm going for a more natural look. I color my brows about once a month, so I make sure they're like not invisible. <laughs> then I like to just fill them out with a clear brow gel. I'm gonna be using this one from Kosas. This is the Clear Air Brow. are in place and what I love about this brow gel is that it just looks natural it keeps the brows in place but it doesn't look crusty and it also doesn't look shiny we are going to bend the lashes and apply a light layer of mascara for mascara I'm going to be using the fullest volumizing mascara from Ilia it just gives such a natural result it doesn't have that clumping effect that many volumizing mascaras has so I find it works actually perfect for a natural look like this. Can you guys see that? I have one eyelash literally going in the opposite direction. Like all my lashes go like this and then I have one that's like poking out. All right, I'm just gonna leave it. Now all we have left to do are lips and then we're done with the makeup. So for lips, we're gonna keep it super simple and comfortable, just a little more. Va -va -voom, you know? I'm gonna start by scrubbing my lips with a towel, just giving my lips a natural plump and some natural color. If you have just naturally more defined, more colored lips, you can just go in with a gloss. But I need to add a little bit of liner just to give my lips some definition. For the liner, I like to do my lips, but a little more pink. This is the Eden Minerals Lip Liner in shade BB. And I'm going to apply this very sparingly, focusing on the bottom center and the cupid's bow. And I like to just overline a little bit here. And then what I like to do is just draw a little bit on the back of my hand. Then I'll run my finger over this and just kind of dab that on my lips. 
And now to the last step, but maybe one of the most important steps, the gloss. This is the Hyaluronic Lip Oil from Make The Make. This is hydrating, non-sticky. This one does not even have any glitter or glimmer. There we go. All right, makeup is done. Let's move on to the hair. So I think most of us associate the clean girl aesthetic with this very sleek bun. So normally that's the look I would go for. Now I actually have freshly washed and freshly styled hair for once. So I don't wanna waste it by putting it up in a bun. So I'm gonna wear my hair down today. So let's just take these out. What we wanna do is just make sure that the hair is fresh and not too tangled. You just wanna look nice and sleek. I will be using this cute diadem today. It has this like cute pearly sheen. And this is from a Danish brand called Orphic Style. Absolutely obsessed with all their hair accessories. They make the cutest like hair clips and uh, hair accessories and they're made from sustainable materials. I will be sure to link them below. And they're such high quality. All right, there we go. I'm just put my hair back. When I go for this look, I just want something that's easy to maintain throughout the day. So hair in my face is not easy to maintain. <laughs> this, however, lets me have my hair out. I look polished, I look put together, but with minimal effort. For the clean girl look or any look for that matter, a hair gel is just your best friend. I don't know about you guys, but my hair in winter, it just gets very frizzy and static. So I tend to have these little flyaways all the time. I also have naturally curly hair. Curly hair and cold weather is just not a great combo. So I like to apply a little bit of gel just to keep it like in place. So this is the clean girl hair look I'm going for today, but I'll just pop in a little bit of inspiration if you want some other looks. So now we got the makeup, we got the hair, but before we finish up this video, I just want to mention a few more details that is going to just make you feel like the freshest, most put together version of yourself. So first of all, we can't actually embody our best clean girl aesthetic without actually smelling clean. So I have a little hack. I have this deodorant from Mercy Handy. This is the clean deodorant in the scent Namaste. And this one smells like fresh laundry. It's just, it smells so clean. It's the definition of clean. Now it is a deodorant and I do use it as a deodorant I'm actually gonna apply some now because I've been sweating in this sweater. I like to use it as a deodorant like when I'm on the go. However, it's this like gel stick. So I like to use it as perfume. I will literally just put a little bit on random places like on my, on my neck. And then when you walk past people, you just give off this fresh whiff of like cleanliness. <laughs> And then a little detail to think about is of course nails. You don't have to have a perfect manicure. I happen to have a perfect manicure because I go get my nails done once a month. Just make sure you don't have like nail polish that is chipping off. Rather go for no polish, just a clean, fresh, hygienic nails. You absolutely don't have to wear nail polish. And then I like to make sure my hands are always nice and moisturized. And there you have it. That's how anyone can achieve the clean girl look even if you feel like an absolute mess. And if you take anything with you from this video, please make it be that perfection is overrated. You are amazing just the way you are. And this clean girl trend is achievable for anyone. And rather than having this social media trend make you feel inferior and like you're on the outside looking in, you're not good enough to be whatever this picture of perfection is, see it more as an inspiration of being the best, most, polished put together version of yourself thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys so much be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment to let me know what you think about the clean girl aesthetic and this whole trend and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing so that we can hang out again and you can see more videos like this i will see you in my next video take care of yourselves and stay glowing